Hi, I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au and I'm a MailChimp partner. Recently I created a video on how you can authenticate your domain if you use Cloudflare as your domain host. Quite a few people contacted me and said, could I show how to add those records to GoDaddy? So for example, if you want to authenticate your, your MailChimp domain, the domain you use in MailChimp, and you have GoDaddy as a host, well, this video is for you. So let's go across to MailChimp itself. I'm in MailChimp. If we go to, or we click website to the top of the screen, and then domains, we are shown the various domains under verify your email domain. We are shown the domains from which we can send in MailChimp. In other words, I could send, for example, from Gary at 55tips.com or Gary at Gary's class.com and so on. In this video, we're particularly concerned with this column here, verified and authenticated. Verify or verified means that MailChimp sent us an email, which is when we click verify email domain. They've sent us an email and, and we've clicked a link they've sent us to say that we actually received the email. What we want to get to is authenticated. Authenticated is when we add certain records to our domain name that says, yes, we're using MailChimp to send emails. Now, it makes a huge difference, uh, particularly my larger clients with several hundred thousand or million, millions of, of contacts. It makes, it makes a massive difference to delivery rates once you authenticate. Once you authenticate, generally, um, a lot of emails stop going straight to spam and test emails don't go to the spam filter. So to get to authenticated, which is highly recommended, and if you use GoDaddy as your uh, domain host or you purchase your domain through GoDaddy, what we need to do wherever you have blue verified is click authenticate. Now where I am again is under website, domains, and I'm clicking authenticate. And MailChimp tells us what to do. It's saying add two C name records. Okay, let's just stop there. Let's go across to uh, to GoDaddy itself, you'll notice I'm logged into GoDaddy. Um, and what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to authenticate this plusmarketingapp.com domain. So where I am, and, and GoDaddy, there are lots of ways, ways to reach this, just depending on how you log in and where you are. But what I've done in this case is I purely just clicked the, um, uh, the nine dots uh, uh, next to the logo and click domains. And you'll see a screen similar to this. You might have more domains, and that's absolutely fine. But what we want to do is we want to add domain records, uh, in other words, reach the DNS. So against the domain you want to authenticate to send from MailChimp, click the three little dots next to it, and then quite simply click Manage DNS. And we'll just wait a second. Okay, and various records come up, and yours might look different, and that's absolutely fine. That's not a problem at all. Okay, and we can add more records. So that's what we're going to do. First off, let's go back to MailChimp. We're just going to add two records. So once we've added these two records, we'll need to wait roughly 24 to 48 hours before it sort of goes around the web and, and gets all around out there. And then we'll start to see better results, better open rates, click rates, uh, but particularly delivery rates. We create these records once in our DNS in GoDaddy and we don't need to do it again. It's a once off set and forget. Okay, so what we need to do here, so again, against the domain name, in this case, plusmarketingapp.com, uh, I'm going to click authenticate. Let me just scroll the screen slightly. Click authenticate and MailChimp gives us instructions. So it says create a CNAME record for that. So I will just copy that first bit. I just need the first bit, k2 dot underscore domain key. I'm just gonna copy that, come into GoDaddy and where I can add de de uh, records or in my DNS, I'll click add. And let me just scroll up the screen slightly here. Um, GoDaddy says to us, what type of record? Now, MailChimp, just going back, it's a little bit of going backwards and forwards, said create CNAME records. So I'm gonna select the type of CNAME. The host, I'll just pop in the host there. Points to, so let's go back. And I'll just, oh, sorry, there we go. Copy that field. So create a C name for that with that value. So let's just paste in that value quickly. Okay. 
that to that, you can leave the time to live or the TTL and click save. Perfect. So we've created that one record, nice and easy. Let's create another one. We'll click add, what type, and again, it's a C name record. So let's go back to MailChimp and it's a C name record for that. So I'll just copy this and paste it in. I'm just gonna copy that. Come back here in the host. I'll just paste in those details. Come back to MailChimp. Copy the value, copy that. Come back to GoDaddy. Paste it in the points too and click save. That's all there to, is to it. So I've now added those two records. All looking good, yep, all looking good, okay. So back here, this will take, it's not gonna work now, but this will take 24 to 48 hours. MailChimp will keep checking um, and it'll automatically authenticate itself. Look, I've just clicked authenticate and you can see it hasn't happened yet, but it will happen in a short while. So what will happen then is you'll see green authenticated here and you'll notice that more of your emails uh, get opened, uh, more get clicked, fewer go straight to spam. Um, and that's how easy it is to authenticate your domain and you only need to do it once and, and that's for GoDaddy. But please like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel and I'm Gary from organicweb.com.au.